Hi everybody, welcome to Anga Math. How to find, today we are going to learn how to find the values of trigonometric ratios. Let's take that this is an equilateral triangle ABC. So here I take triangle A, B and this is C and I just drop a perpendicular line from here. So that is uh, AD which is a perpendicular line. And we know that when we drop a perpendicular line from the vertices to the base BC, this uh, divides an angle A into two equal parts. It means AD is a bisector of angle A. Actually, in equilateral triangle, each angle is 60 degrees, right? Each angle is 60 degrees. So here, as it is a bisector, we get that this is a 30 degrees as well as this is also 30 degrees and this is 90 so obviously we got a right angle triangle as it is uh, we said uh, we have taken it is an equal triangle so let each side is some a units as we draw an perpendicular line and also it bisects the side also it means this is half of the a it means it is a by 2 and this is also a by 2 right so now i just uh, I have to know the length of AD as we use a right angle triangle in trigonometry to find uh, this height. Uh, I, use, I just use a Pythagoras theorem. That Before you watch the video, like our channel, subscribe it, and click on the bell icon for notifications. That is a uh, AC square. That is a uh, A c square is equals to ad square plus dc square so what is ac square means it is a units a units ac square is a square and ad we don't know let it be a d square plus dc is a by 2 whole square now if you look into this uh, it means a square minus a square by 4 is equals to ad square as this stands for this side so when you simplify this again what do you get it is uh, 3 a square by 4 is equals to ad square so what is ad ad equals to under root 3 a by 2 so this is the length of ad so length of ad is under root 3 a by 2 fine now we got the length of ad that is root 3 a by 2 so now we uh, take the trigonometric ratios which we have learned in before classes so that is uh, if I go to the ratio sine 30 degrees sine 30 so here uh, 30 degrees sine the ratio of the sine is uh, opposite side of theta by hypotenuse side of theta so that is uh, opposite is a by 2 so a by 2 by hypotenuse is a it means when you simplify it we get uh, it is very clear a a by 2a so a a gets cancelled so it means 1 by 2 so that's what sine 30 degrees is 1 by 2 similarly if you go to the cos 30 degrees cos 30 degrees so what is the ratio of the cos it is adjacent side of theta side of theta by hypotenuse side of theta so what is the adjacent side of uh, this 30 degrees it is root 3a by 2 root 3a by 2 by hypotenuse is a it means root 3a by 2a so as this gets uh, simplified so then we get root 3 by 2 then if uh, I would like to check with the 
tan 30 degrees so tan 30 degrees we know the ratio of the tan is opposite side of theta by adjacent side of theta what is opposite side of theta that is a by 2 by adjacent side of theta is root 3 a by 2 under root 3 a by 2 so when you simplify this you get that is a 1 by root 3 so now uh, as these are the three ratio value of uh, these three ratios we got so what is the uh, inverse of sine it's nothing that cosec cosec 30 degrees which is inverse of sine 30 so inverse of this 1 by 2 is 2 by 1 or if not you can go with the ratio also we get the same from this uh, triangle ADC and uh, similarly inverse of cos is a uh, second 30 degrees so it is 2 by root 3 then uh, inverse of uh, tan 30 degrees is uh, cot 30 degrees so it is uh, under root 3 by 1 it is nothing that under root 3 so here we got the ratios of uh, sin 30 cos 30 tan 30 cosecant 30 secant 30 and cot 30 degrees so similarly you, you can also use 60 degrees that is sin 60 now I go with the uh, ratios like a uh, with angle with a uh, 60 degrees which is here at angle C so that so that is a uh, sin 60 degrees sin 60 is nothing that opposite by hypotenuse so its opposite side is uh, root 3 a by 2 by its hypotenuse is a when you simplify it you get root 3 by 2 this is sin 60 degrees and when I go with the cos 60 so cos 60 degrees so cos 60 is nothing that adjacent by hypotenuse so this is adjacent side that is a by 2 by hypotenuse is a so that when we simplify it we get 1 by 2 so that is a cos 60 degrees value and next when you go with the tan 60 degrees tan 60 degrees opposite by adjacent so 60 degrees opposite is root 3a by 2 3a by 2 by its adjacent is a by 2 so as we simplify it we get just root 3 similarly then the inverse of sine so that is uh, inverse of sine is uh, cosecant 60 degrees sine 60 so cosecant 60 degrees which is 2 by root 3 here and next second 60 degrees which is the uh, inverse of this 1 by 2 is 2 and next uh, cot cot 60 degrees which is inverse of this root 3 is 1 by root 3 so here yeah, we have learned the trigonometric ratio values of uh, 30 degrees as well as 60 degrees let us see about the trigonometric ratio values of uh, sin 30 and uh, sorry sin uh, 45 degrees cos 45 degrees and cot and the remaining ratios also here I have taken a right angle triangle and let's imagine that this right angle triangle A B C is an isosceles right angle triangle it means two sides are equal in a triangle as two sides are equal 
then uh, opposite their opposite angles also equal as this is a right angle triangle 90 degrees so obviously the sum of other these two angles is also 90 because sum of three angles becomes 180 degrees so it means this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees as we said that this is isosceles right angle triangle so let the length of this side is a unit and this is also a unit now if you uh, find the length of AC using Pythagoras theorem you get uh, a root 2 this is the length of the hypotenuse then now we apply the ratios uh, where so sin 45 degrees sin 45 degrees sin 45 the, uh, any 45 you can take here so the uh, ratio of the sine is opposite by hypotenuse so 45 opposite is as you consider this is a 45 degrees so it's opposite a if you consider this also nothing change so opposite is a unit by its hypotenuse is a root 2 as you simplify you get 1 by root 2 so now cos 45 adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent is same again a by hypotenuse is a root 2 so when you simplify it you get just 1 by root 2 next tan 45 tan 45 tan ratio is opposite by adjacent so its opposite is a and adjacent is a so a by a is equals to 1 so then uh, inverse of sine 45 that is the uh, cosecant 45 degrees it is root 2 inverse of cos is secant 45 degrees that is the uh, root 2 and inverse of tan 45 is cot 45 degrees it is nothing that 1 so these are the trigonometric ratios uh, about 30 degrees uh, for uh, 60 degrees and uh, 45 degrees and here we are going to learn how to find the uh, value of the sine 0 and uh, sine 90 degrees similarly cos 0 and cos 90 so let me take a triangle here that is a this is a right angle triangle a b c as uh, let imagine that this is some theta right so now if this theta gets slowly decreases when as this is theta we know that according to the sine if you write the sine theta the sine theta is nothing that opposite by hypotenuse opposite side of theta by hypotenuse side of theta right so then uh, I imagine that that this theta gets decreases slowly so as it decreases little so it just decreases now the angle gets decreases slowly as it is getting decreases so what happens that each line it means this is a opposite side right so slowly uh, the length of BC gets decreases so when it comes to 0 degrees when it comes to 0 degrees it means uh, this hypotenuse lie on the AB itself so that what happens as sine is 0 degrees slowly uh, it becomes a 0 degrees so that length of uh, hypotenuse is nothing that length of AB coming to its opposite side it's coming to it gets lesser and lesser and lesser so it becomes a 0 by hypotenuse is nothing that some as it is some units a and this is b and this is c so b got uh, uh, sorry this is a and this is b and this is c so your slowly a got reduces length of bc it's nothing that a unit so it gets reduces 
so b and c gets equal so whatever it may be you can take b or c so 0 by b is nothing that 0 similarly so cos 0 degrees so if you look at the cos the same, way, same it's a uh, ratio of the cos is what adjacent by hypotenuse so as it gets 0 adjacent is be what c units and its hypotenuse also same uh, b or c units so that's what it is equals to 1 so tan 0 degrees opposite by adjacent opposite is what 0 right so 0 by by its adjacent is a c or b whatever you take okay so it is nothing that 0 so these are the values so similarly you will get for the cosecant and the secant and the cotangent that is cot right now let us see how to find the uh, value of uh, the sine 90 cos 90 so on so here also in this case first of all I take a right angle triangle right so here I just take a right angle triangle now so this is a right angle triangle let's same as a b c and this is theta so that this is a unit b unit and uh, this is c unit so theta opposite is a unit and uh, theta adjacent is c unit and the hypotenuse is b so now what we are taking is uh, what we what we have to see is that this theta gets changes to 90 degrees so we can observe as it the angle gets increases so imagine that now this comes like this so that this angle changes to here so the BC comes to this way now it increases more uh, it means it is exactly sorry as it is exactly to 90 degrees so we know that this BC falls on this so it means CA CA and BC are equal in this case as a uh, means A is equals to B in this case so A units equals to B units and that the length of uh, BC gets decreases you can observe here so it means the length of C gets becomes zero so sin 90 degrees that is opposite is actually a so a is nothing that c or oh sorry b so you can take its your wish so a by c the length of a hype actually uh, hypotenuse b also becomes a or b so i can take a it means it is one so now cos 90 which is adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent uh, we can observe here as the, the angle gets changes increases this gets reduces slowly so it make a, it becomes a zero so zero by hypotenuse becomes a so it is equal to zero so next to tan 90 tan 90 opposite by adjacent so theta opposite becomes a unit and adjacent becomes zero so that is undefined undefined similarly you can find the inverse of a uh, sine 90 cosecant 90 that is 1 and uh, secant 90 so that is undefined and tan 90 is a 0 so that uh, these are the values now here today we learned how to find the trigonometric uh, values uh, as uh, given uh, for the given angle these are the standard angles today we have learned thank you thank you all